Hey, this is Lake Cool Man, so my name is Kid Guru. I'm just going to show you a tutorial today on proxies. If you don't know what proxies are, <coughs> sorry about my voice, but proxies are uh, how to bypass a, f uh, s like a site, maybe like an underground tunnel or whatever, on school computers or, you know, anywhere that doesn't allow you to go on YouTube, MySpace. This is for educational purposes only. I'm not held responsible for what you do with it. And I know a lot of you want to go on YouTube and MySpace, um, and, you know, you can't and you need to bypass it and what the only way you can is using proxy sites or proxy servers or whatever I'm going to show you two quick examples first and let me just open up a new uh, tab here okay first one this is probably the one of the most uncommon ones is go to google.com first and then this is probably the one most people don't know but it's a uh, it's really simple and it's un you, you people wouldn't expect it when searching for a, like when schools are trying to block out proxy sites they wouldn't expect it but go to google type of google translate and what this originally does is hello youtube it just translate the language so let's say spanish to english i want to change english to spanish it'll say hola youtube or whatever i don't know <laughs> i'm not hola something i don't know how they pronounce it or la YouTube in forma de you or whatever. But anyway, here it says translate a web page, and this is what you, what you're aiming for. What you're gonna do is type in like YouTube dot com, whatever page you want to go to, English to Spanish, and hit OK. And what it's gonna do is gonna automatically use YouTube Google's uh it's a as a way it's gonna use it as itself as a proxy. It's gonna use it's going to use itself to deliver the it's gonna use internet connection feed to uh, direct us to the site. It's Google itself is going to direct us to the site. As you see it up here, it's going to direct us to the site. Not anywhere, not, not uh, you know, your school settings. Google will. And Google's not going to block you from using the stuff. See, it translated. Now, what you want to do is back to translate or whatever. You might want to go, like, try just get the site and then go to Portuguese to English change it to English and it should just be in English even if it already is English so don't worry about that and then what it would do well what it will do is let you allow you to use sites like MySpace anything and most people haven't really found out about this yet but anyway moving on this is really common it's been around for a while just go to HTTP colon slash slash www.vtunnel.com and it's a, I guess that's a name for it, V-Tunnel. It's a tunnel that will, well, it's like a bypassing server, a proxy, that sets up its own internet connection and gets you through. And then you just hit begin browsing, whatever site you want to go, no cookies and hide refers. It's always going to ask you for security settings for your school computers, just hit yes or whatever. And to watch YouTube videos, first of all, you're going to have to download Flash, and as you saw there, and it works. Uh, just like that, they're really, really simple. You can easily bypass the school server. And uh, sorry if I'm moving too fast, but uh, last time I video, I had one, but it was too big. So I'm just trying to see if it's the codex fault or is it me taking too long with these videos. So anyway, again, just go to either Google Translate and go to Translate a web page or V Tunnel. V Tunnel is pretty easy. Just type in the link and you're there. You know. And uh, usually you'll know when it's a proxy or it's using another connection. It usually it'll say like up here in this area, right where this toolbar is, or up here, around here. It'll say like blah blah Google or V Tunnel, then have the an address bar, and you can type in the link. You can try it as a proxy. And uh, again, p kids have gotten in trouble some in some schools if it's, it really is legal, big time. So even kids get arrested. So make sure you know what you're doing. Make sure you, you know the rules before you try it out. Even if you are gonna try it out, or you know, if you just want to know information, there you go. And one more way to do this is pretty technical. You can set up a port server using a program. I'm not sure what the program's name is, but you can check it out by going to YouTube and typing in my favorite computer tricks. YouTube by Chapsack, his name is. Just type in uh, my fave computer tricks, and it should come up with his video as the first one. My fave tricks. 
and just wait for that to load, wait for that to load, and right here, and right here, the video should be, yeah, there you go, my fave computer tricks, and at the end, it shows you how to do it, he tells you everything, what it does is, he sets up a port server, or you get your IP address of the school's computer, and then using the, I guess, not the LAN connection, or I guess you can call it that, the connection between your, or host computer, or your computer's co internet connection, and it'll link it, to the port number or IP address you give it to so it'll basically share your connection your personal connection or whatever computer you're choosing with your school's computer if you have a signed computer and that works faster and more efficient but if they do find out it's harder for them to find out because you're using a home computer and if they unless they find out your IP address for your home and uh, but the only problem is if they do find out then you're more tr uh, probably this one you get in more trouble because you're using your school's information etc and that's about on it sorry I had, I had to move along fast but I hope you uh, learned some stuff today and if you if you like the video please comment and rate and if you really do like my videos please subscribe to the channel uh, I hope to see you guys in more videos of mine and more comments and ratings I'm moving my way up there <laughs> I only have seven subscribers right now so I hope to get higher hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching